I'm Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. Today we're going to make a delicious low carb cauliflower soup. It is really, really good and I know you're going to enjoy it. I've got a couple of, of cauliflower soups on my site, but this one tops them all. It's delicious. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. Now I've taken one head of cauliflower and I took all the um, leaves off. I used the stalk also. I used the whole thing because it all has great flavor as far as I'm concerned. And I have a steamer here so we're going to put it in the steamer, water in the bottom, and then I'm going to put it on for approximately, I can get the lid on here, there we go, approximately 25 minutes. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you can use a colander in your water in a pot and, and steam it that way. Or if you have one of those uh, pressure cookers, they're amazing, they're nice and quick. But I have the steamer, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to cook it for about 25 minutes. And I leave mine whole. It's so messy cutting raw cabbage, or cauliflower up. So I just keep the whole thing whole let it steam till it's all cooked and then we'll go from there. I had the cauliflower in the steamer for approximately 30 minutes and what I did was I just checked. At the 20-25 minutes I stabbed it with the um, knife to see if it was soft. It wasn't soft enough so I left it in for 30 minutes. So I'm just showing you like it's really is tender. So now we're just going to chop it all up into fine pieces and this is so much easier than trying to do it raw because if you do it raw it just flies everywhere at least this way you've got it so that it'll stay in one area so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop it all up and then I'm going to put it in a big pot when I'm finished because we're going to end up pureeing this when I'm finished but if you can get the smaller pieces to work with the stock here at the end, it's a little hard, so I'm just going to pull it out. It's just a small piece, but use the rest. The rest is all good. And if your stock is, is tender, use it. There we go. So we're going to put it all into a pot. Let me see if I can do it without making too much of a mess. There we go. So we'll get it into the pot and add our other ingredients. Yes, it's so much easier um, steaming it or, or making it cooked before you chop it up so you don't have a mess. In a separate pan, frying pan, I've got two tablespoons, two tablespoons of butter, and I have um, chopped, finely chopped onion that I'm going to sauté. And this is approximately the size I used. It was um, around 78 milligram amount of onions that I chopped up. So we're going to sauté them, and then we're going to add them to the cauliflower and add some more ingredients. So I've sautéed the onions in the butter and we're going to add that to the cauliflower. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of sea salt or Himalayan salt. I've got them both in the same dish. So a teaspoon of each and now we're going to add three cups of chicken broth. I like buying the chicken broth in the cartons. Looking for it here. I've got Campbell's actually. Chicken broth. Um, no salt added. And I quite like that one. So we're going to stir this up. I'm going to turn on the burner and we're going to cook this up a bit. Now I got my Ninja food processor out and I'm just going to take a cup and I'm going to put 
my cauliflower mixture into the blender. Let's see if I can pour the rest in here. It still is hot, so just be very careful. So now we're going to blend this and make it puree it so it's nice and smooth. Now I let it blend for quite a while because I wanted to make sure I had it very, very smooth. And that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do move everything over here. And I'm going to pour the soup back into So I'll clean this up and then we will continue with the recipe. So I put it back on the burner and I've put my lid on it because you can see on the lid it's starting to bubble a little bit and it's splatting. It's quite thick and we're going to have to thin it down a little bit. Um, so I just don't want it all over the place. So if I keep stirring it I'm okay. If I don't I'm going to have to cover it or something until I get everything else in there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in cream cheese and I've got six ounces of cream cheese and I just put them into little cubes so they melt a lot easier in the pot and then I'm going to add in a cup of I gotta go get an extra old cheese and I'm using white cheese because I want to keep my my um, soup looking white like cauliflower. Now the thing is, my soup is already thick. I'm going to have to thin it out so I will be adding more chicken broth once I get this, this going here. So we're going to work on melting this and then we will add our Last ingredient, plus I'm, I'm for sure I'm going to have to put in some chicken broth. Now my cream cheese hasn't totally melted, but we're going to add in half a cup of whipping cream. You can use half and half or whatever, but I'm using whipping cream. So we'll see what I've got for thickness, and then I can decide if I'm going to add some more broth in there. So I'm just going to cook this up a little bit longer. We're going to add a little bit of pepper. The taste, I tasted it already. I didn't think it needed any salt, but that's where you have to taste your own and decide if you would like some salt in there. So that's basically our soup, our low-carb cauliflower soup. It's rich and delicious. So here is my low-carb delicious cauliflower soup. I've left it quite thick, but you add a little bit of chicken broth if you would like it thinner, but it's really good. It's delicious. Really, really good. It's the best one yet, so far. If you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.